Look, I wanted today to be beautiful and sunny so I could show you that I feel like this. There we go. I feel like it's the first day of uh, summer when you're getting out of school and tomorrow you get to hang out with all your friends and you don't have to go to school because I'm not sick anymore. I'm not sitting in the house anymore. I'm gonna try to make this video as funny as I can about being sick in Thailand, which is gonna be difficult, but okay. Because when you've been sick for four, five days, today's the first day I just wanna go out and get some food and enjoy myself and feel good because I'm not sick. And so, anyway, let's go. Twenty seconds in Thailand, Thailand, Rob. Ugh, I'm sick. Getting sick in Thailand. What? I feel completely like crap. Yesterday morning, I woke up and my stomach was sick. I was sick with my stomach. But in Thailand, that happens. I mean, it depends on maybe you ate something. It's just your stomach's upset. Okay, not a problem. But I haven't been sick in over six months. As a matter of fact. I've been very fortunate. The only times I've ever felt bad in Thailand was the first week that I got here over a year ago. And the second time was when I came back from America again, back in January when I was in Pattaya, and then I got sick. I need to walk down here, make sure, hold on. I need to walk down here and make sure I've got enough fluids, waters, juices, or something, because I'm not going anywhere today. I gotta pick up my laundry over here, get something to drink, and that's it. I'm going back to bed. Yeah, so 36 hours ago is when I got sick. Last night, last night I felt kind of okay and went to bed, but this morning, oh man, started with the chills, the aches. You know when you're just laying in bed and it just hurts just to lay on that side, you have to keep moving? All right, so that's what we're going into. And I figured I'd take you along with me being sick in Thailand. How wonderful, right? And of course they're closed. The little store is closed. That's a bummer. I don't want to get the motorbike out. I'm so tired. All right, at this point, at this point here, my poor sorry. The store was closed. There's not another store in walking distance to go get water. I went to just walk by and get the laundry. The laundry wasn't done. She's like, come back later. So I didn't, I feel so bad and I was so upset. I didn't even turn the camera back on. I ended up having to get the motorbike, go to the big C store where I bought the water and some supplies and some food and stuff just to get back home. Got, man, it's raining outside, but anyway. So I did end up getting the water for that night. So all I did was come back home and went straight back to bed. That's what I didn't even film, I was so sick. It's not funny, but still. Hey everybody, here's what's going on now with sick in Thailand, oh my gosh. So it's been 48 hours since I got sick. The first day was just some stomach issues for the first day and then the second day was complete misery. I have to go to the bathroom every hour. So as of this morning, which is after 48 hours, I decided to start taking antibiotics. Yes, do, do you have flux? Yeah. Okay. okay but I have, uh, same, same, but different? <laughs> no, uh, different company. It's okay, same product? Yes. Okay. No flux vaccine, 400 milligrams. Okay. Normally take one tablet twice a day before eating. Okay, can do. Uh, yeah. How much? Uh, 180 baht. 180 baht. Thank you. Because it wasn't, nothing was getting any better. Now I just feel like I've been kicked in the stomach by a horse. And I do recommend, don't you ever drink chocolate milk when you have an upset stomach. That was a bad idea. So while they're making my food, I'll tell you what I did. The first couple of days I was sick, I decided to fast. I just didn't want to eat anything, which I read up later on and realized that's not the right thing to do. So for two days, I just sat there and felt like crap and didn't eat anything. That made things worse. So then what I did, I finally went and got on antibiotics. After about 36 hours of being on antibiotics, I woke up and I felt really good. I'm like, yeah, this is gonna be good. Whoa. But then as I went to take another pill, after I took that, I started to feel bad again. And I thought, wow, I'm not over this yet. I'm not over this bug. This is, this is, this is the worst bug ever. 
And trust me, this was the worst four days of illness I've encountered in many, many years. I usually don't get sick, but when I get sick, sometimes it's just rough. This was so miserable, I slept for 24 hours. The only time I got up, which was every hour, I get up, run to the bathroom, come back, go to sleep. So what I did was, after I took the last pill and I started feeling bad again, I was wondering what's going on. So I started looking at the side effects of the medicine that I was taking. Muscle pain, joint pain, bruise, bleeding. Bleeding. It just says bleeding. It doesn't say from where or what, just bleeding. Blisters on skin. That happened. Well, not blist. Well, not blisters. Uh, rash? Convulsions. Dark colored urine, dizziness, diarrhea. diarrhea. Wait a minute. How are you supposed to take something that has a side effect that gives you what you already got before you took it? I just confused myself. Headache, coarseness of voice, loss of conscious, loss of conscious, loss of consciousness. What a side effect. Ah, skin rash. Lip swelling, facial swelling, itching. Right after skin rash, it says itching. Uh, go trimmer. Oh, I did it. I have it a trimmer too, actually. Restlessness, had that. Uncoordinated body movements. Yellow discoloration of skin, yellow discoloration of eyes, weakness, fever, fever. How's it gonna give, it gives you what you're trying to fix. Hallucinations, that would have been cool. Heartburn and na nausea. Ah. So I'm taking this stuff that gives me the same symptoms of what I have. Yes, the medicine did help me. Yes, I feel better right now. So anyway, I am just chilling out here again today, trying to let everything sort, sort it out and uh, and that's about it. Just been laying in bed for 24 hours, doing that sleep off and on, sweating, chills. Blech. Sigh. 60 hours into this mayhem of illness, and after being on antibiotics, I'm just starting to feel a little bit better. I'm actually, for the first time, getting a little bit of hunger back. I've decided to make some oatmeal. I think oatmeal will be okay. At least I hope so. Today was horrific. Oh my god, it was so painful. Anyway, enough about the tragedies of Thailand, Rob. Oh gosh, just been horrible. I'll give you an example of how bad I have felt for the past three days. I haven't watched one thing on YouTube. Not one. I barely got a message out on Facebook to tell you guys that I'm sick. Hopefully we're on the path to to wellness. But then having said that, I think I'm on the road to recovery because now I've watched four videos. That's good, that's good. We're gonna do this one today. Scrambled egg, onion, ham, tomato, toast, and a coffee. 119 baht. Coconut, cocos, cocosness, cocos, I can never remember that. I just can't. And breakfast is served. Aren't those just the cutest little tomatoes? Oh, thank you. By the way, this is the guy that runs the place. What's your name? Thomas. Thomas. How long you had this place? Uh, 13 years now. You've been in Camelot 13 years? 13 years. But in those days, it was a different time here. Less people and every, the word got around very quick. That was awesome. She took the plate away. I was going to show you that I finished it, but she already took it away. This place has a buffet three times a week in the high season. I will wait till I show you that. I had to drop off some more laundry. Temporarily still got some sunlight. and I can eat again. Because there's a saying here in Thailand. Echo. Because there's a saying here in Thailand. Never trust a fart. Can you take this asshole back to America, please? <laughs> Goody goody. Don't forget that. Goody goody. La if life is good, it's good. If life is better and good, it's goody goody. So what happened was... So what happened was... So I finally yesterday, I finally yesterday stopped taking it and I'm fine. I'm good now. I'm so... I'm, I'm actually excited. I think it's the side effect. 
I think it's a side of I think it's a side effect from taking all the medicine. Uh, some of the hyperactivity guys. I feel like Superman. Well, anyway, I'm not wearing a Superman shirt, but you understand. 